This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Lee with my Dark World deck. Okay, before I start the actual deck profile, let me say a few things. I played Dark World since the beginning in um, Elemental Energy, so I know the ins and outs of the Dark World deck. In this build, I don't run Drag Down to the Grave just because the band list does not allow me to play it consistently. And if you don't like it, then skip to another video. I don't mind. But do note there is no. Well, the thing with Drag Down is basically you screw a lot with your opponent's hand in combination with Mind Crush, which I do not run in this deck as well. I use this deck more in a build to create my own field advantage in order to take you down but the cards will speak for themselves I guess so to begin we have of course 3 Grafa 3 Snow and of course we have 3 Brow the standard 9 Dark World monsters you shouldn't play any less of these in my opinion uh, then we have a toolbox card a lot used for summoning Grafa Two beige, then a very good card in this deck as well. Two trans archfiend. It discards your monsters and it helps you when you have a banished snow or well whatever. I use it a lot of times to loop itself. I banish it with the field spell and then when the other copy that gets destroyed, I get him back to have a discard outlet again. Then we have two uh, scarms. Of course for the searching and well, it has a lot of utility with the deck. Then one tour guide, unfortunately, because she is at one. If she would be more, I would run her more. But I can't. And then we have Trans Archfiend. This is a very good card. First of all, it's a fiend, so you can banish it with the effect of gates. But you can also get your Trans Archfiend to your hand. So you, it gets your discard outlets. Then for the spells, we run... 3 gates, 3 dealings, 1 gateway, your monster reborn for the dark world, allure of darkness, 1 day of peace, and this card is mainly to make you set up for your combos and not make you die in the next turn if you don't get your combos in time. A soul charge, well why not, a dark hole, dark worlds don't really have any disadvantage from dark hole. Because you can easily summon up to three, two or three Grafas a turn. So Dark Hole, not really a problem. Foolish Burial to dump the Grafa. Forbidden Lands to protect your monsters from being banished. Say that they use, uh, well, Bottomless on your Grafa. You don't want that. So this can protect your monster and most likely you're going to exceed after that. Or use it for whatever you need. And of course a Book of Moon, same reason, but also to stop your opponent's, well, exceeds place. If you're playing against Burning Abyss, for uh, for example. Then we have the traps, well, one obvious trap. Skill Drain, Dark Worlds don't really have a problem with it. Yes, of course, you negate the Tour Guide and the Trans Archfiend, but that's not really a problem. Then the Eradicator, it's a very good card, easy to use in this deck. Torrential Tribute, same reason as Dark Hole, you don't have much of this advantage from it. Bottomless, mainly for the stupid uh, pendulum plays, like Cleese or whatever. A Compulse, and for more consistency you have Reckless Creed. This card is very good in this deck, just because the, you have to skip two draw phases. With, with gates on the board, that doesn't really matter. So that's it for the main deck. Then we go to the extra deck. We have one Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. That's a mouthful. Uh, one uh, Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Well, a funny thing with this card is, uh, say you have a Skill Drain on the board and you summon this. You might be thinking, oh, that's a stupid move because he doesn't have his effect. Well, that's partially true. If you use Forbidden Lands on him, it's a very funny thing. Because he is unaffected for spells and traps then. And when you go in the battle phase, you can activate its effect. His, ori his original attack stats go to its normal. And he is unaffected by any spells and traps, including your skill drain. So you can still attack and use his effect with Forbidden Lands. Then you have two Felgrands. 
well, basically, it's a ma it is a failure and a forbidden lands in one. So why not? Exeter Knight to nuke the field. Dark Rebellion for simple monster removal by battle. Monster removal by effect. This is a good combo with your uh, field spell to protect your field spell and protect him. Then Heartland Draco, very funny under gates because they cannot attack him. Diamond Die Wolf, just the spot removal. Cowboy, well, why not? Samurai, also a very good card. A toolbox card, Levier, always needed in Dark Worlds in my opinion. Zen Mains for a little bit of stall. And Levier to attack over problematic monsters. Well, that's it, I guess. And this was Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Lee with my Dark World deck.